Hello everybody, we are back here on Way of the Hunter. I have been spending the past hour or two driving around this entire map trying to figure out what we've got going in terms of different herds of animals and also unlocking as many of the uh, little question marks as I could. And uh, we've traveled through a lot of this area through here and picked up a campsite over here and now we're heading over to this direction. And I stopped to look at some hyenas and as they were running off I noticed there was some springbok in the background. Well, uh, go figure. There is actually a pretty massive springbok in this group. If we can find him again, it is a five-star mature springbok. The only thing I have on me that's going to be like within uh, the proper class range to get a full hunt rating on it is the compound bow. So I think we're going to go ahead and attempt that. Question is, will we be able to get close enough? Hard to say. It actually just dawned on me that since I got the vehicle with me, I can actually go into the vehicle storage and swap guns real quick. So... Instead of using the bow, I think we're going to go with the Steyr Scout because I don't really get too many opportunities to actually use this rifle. And it is a very fun rifle to use, so let's go ahead and equip probably, let's say, the 3 to 15x scope and see if we can take this thing down. This video right here will likely be a collection of all of the 5-star trophies and rares that we ended up finding along our journey unlocking this entire map. This is going to be just the first trophy of hopefully many, but uh, only time will tell. That is going to be a decent shot right there, and that is a 223 bullet right to the chest of that Springbok, and he's going down. Man, I never would have thought my first five star of Tikamoon Plains is going to be a Springbok. That is the last thing that I would have expected. Man, this is where we ended up uh, impacting him, and he did not go far at all. He's just right over here. Let's go ahead and collect this guy. That is such a cool thing to stumble across. I never would have thought that we would be getting a 5-star Springbok as our very first 5-star, and that is 95% genetics. Let's see what the score is. It's going to be a 473 trophy rating, so definitely not too bad. That is a really awesome trophy to find, and it's going to fill a uh, plaque in our lodge as we have yet to actually get a uh, smaller animal like this to put into our lodge. So this is going to be pretty cool. I'm curious what types of uh, like multi mounts we can do with the Springbok. Now that we've got a chance to take a look at this little guy, let's go ahead and tax him real quickly and uh, be on our way. In fact, I, I think there's actually some more animals over there. So we're going to go ahead and check them out real quickly. And yeah, it looks to be a bunch of Gemsbok. Would really like to see a big Gemsbok. I have not found too many that were good. In fact, that three-star mature we just saw is the highest, highest star rating I've seen on one, wherever he went. This is pretty much what I've been doing the last, like, two hours of this evening, is just driving around, unlocking all the stuff that I can, and taking a look at any herds of animals that we find along the way. In fact, I see a hunting tower over there, so we should probably go uh, drive by that so we get it unlocked on the map, and then we will head over to that icon there. And hope that it ends up being a campsite. I, I couldn't imagine it not being a campsite with how far away it is from any other fast travel locations. And there we go. There is another campsite. Just swing by here real quick so that we can unlock it. And uh, while we're here, we might as well go hit the little uh, board over here to unlock some of the surrounding question marks. There we go. You know, at this point, I've probably spent about uh, 8 to 10 hours on the brand new update since the full release. Uh, I'm not counting the early access time, but around 8 to 10 hours since full release of this reserve right here. And I've already spotted, like, between 7 and 10 four-star Cape Buffalo. So I would not be surprised if we start seeing a lot of giant Cape Buffalo showing up. It's definitely shaping up to be the animal that we find the most five stars from. And... Whoa! Oh my... No way! No way! They actually made it so that there's multiple lodges? Oh my gosh, that's incredible! I did not expect that. This actually caught me off guard. But that is really cool! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm glad they decided to do this. Um, I feel like I read somewhere in patch notes at one point that this was a thing. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but this may be a thing on other reserves as well. Now that I'm seeing it, I feel like I do remember reading some patch notes at one point that mentioned, like, more mounts being put up, but I could be wrong there. Maybe this is exclusive to this reserve. But now that we got that location unlocked, let's fast travel back to the main hunting lodge and put this springbok up, and then we will uh, head back out and 
over the next couple days. We will see if we can find some more five stars. And if we do, they will end up in this video right here. So I think this is where we're going to put it. I think this is going to be a really cool mount to, to put up. This Greater Kudu Gemsbok and Springbok. I mean, there's a lot of other ones right here that would be kind of cool, like the cape chasing the two lions. And then we got the Greater Kudu and a common Warthog. We got the two lions sleeping and the two Gemsbok. But I just feel like this is going to look really good. So let's go ahead and place our Springbok there. That's honestly really cheap to mount him as well. So that's even better. That is such a cool first five star to get. And guys, we have finally done it after many failed attempts at growing a five star cape buffalo. We finally have one in front of us. I think at this point I've had at least three or four uh, of the level fours that we were saving or uh, four stars that we were saving just not make it. Unfortunately, this guy, though, he has finally made it to a five star cape buffalo and we're going to go ahead and take him down. We've got some other decent ones in this group, including a four star. So hopefully in the future we can get another one to grow up to be a five star. But for now. We at least have this guy right here, and we're going to take him down. This will be our second five-star trophy, and it likely will be in the same video as our first. In fact, I believe that is what I was planning on doing, is just getting all of the uh, five stars that we find, at least the first three or four of them, in the same video so that you guys can just have a bunch of them in one place. And that is going to be the end of that beautiful five-star. One shot to the heart, and down he goes. That is honestly just insane to see, and I feel like we got to get ourselves a little trophy shot here. And that right there is looking insane. I think that is going to do it. We'll take a quick screenshot there. That is a monstrous Cape Buffalo, like absolutely monstrous. Now, the question is, what will this guy end up scoring? Hopefully, it will be a giant one. I took it the second that we ended up finding it, so I don't know if it was at its max potential. I'm still kind of learning exactly how to tell like when an animal is at its uh, final year of life. I got a feeling it's going to be tougher with the Cape Buffalo though because I think it said they live to like 25 or something. So I've noticed that people tend to like with a lot of the deer species at least you can tell their age based on like how many changes that they have. But I don't know if it's going to be as easy with something like a Cape Buffalo. You guys will have to let me know in the uh, comments down below. I'm still a little bit new to all of that. I've done a decent bit of gameplay in the first like month or two of this game's existence but uh took quite a long break from it just to due to lack of stuff to do to keep me interested now that we've got some more stuff that i'm really interested in i want to try and learn how to tell uh how old an animal is but honestly that is huge 485 that's about 15 points off of being max for uh five stars so it is definitely a giant right there like man what a monster well, one of our other four stars has grown to a five star literally like 20 minutes after we killed that last five star. I am going to try and move a little bit to get his attention. I don't want to anger these other ones, though. Now, as you can see, this was the same herd that has that albino. He ran off before we could uh, get a good look at him. But uh, this is the exact same group that has that albino. And uh, we had a couple four star matures. One of them has turned into a five star the other one is still a four star, hoping that it eventually will grow up to a five star as well. But I mean, for now, we've got this to take down. So that is a major, major positive for us. We can finally take down a second five star Cape Buffalo. Going to be kind of expensive to mount all these, but you know, it is what it is. Wow, there's actually two four star matures and a five star mature. I didn't realize there was a second four star mature. I guess that would be probably the three star adult that we had at one point. And that's going to be a good shot into that five star. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure the four star is charging us. That's not good. Yep. Yep, that's not good. That is not good at all. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, my gosh. We nearly died there. <laughs> That could have been so bad, but we managed to survive. Honestly, the uh, aggression changes that they made to Way of the Hunter is just, it's such a good change. I love having that, uh, that extra aspect added to the game of, I could die when I take this shot. It's definitely a lot more exciting than it used to be. So there's our five star. He just died. Uh, let's go ahead and pick him up. 
Another uh, beautiful trophy shot with a giant five-star cape buffalo. I feel like this one looks a little bit different than the other, so I'm guessing this is some different horns. And uh, 476, uh, yeah, I suppose that could be different horns than the other one. This is possibly the smaller horns. Honestly, though, I, I gotta say, I like these better. I feel like there's more curl to them, and I just think that that looks really, really good. Yeah, definitely a big fan of the curl that's there. That guy right there had 92% genetics, so it probably could have got a little bit bigger, but, you know, it is what it is. We've got two different horn variations for the 5-star K Buffalo, and that's really all that I care about at the end of the day. We got two that look different, and that is amazing.